I will just tuck that in like that to kind of give myself some extra coverage. Is this something that will actually protect you? I don't know. But what I do know, it is an added layer of protection. The best thing that you can do is to stay away from people, period. <music> Hey girl, hey boy, I am here today uh, getting ready to wash my hair. <laughs> what was that? Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> and I thought it was it would be a good time to um, just show you the things that I do to cover up when I go out. We don't know what's going on. Nobody really knows what's happening. And, you know, to kill a lot of the political noise and all that, we're going to leave that off of this channel and keep our vibrational frequency high. And um, I just wanted to show you what I look like when I go out, give you some alternatives. And there are things that you can actually do or find in your home to make sure you're protected and you're protecting others now i understand that the masks are to protect other people meanwhile back at the ranch i am like how can i ensure that i'm doing my best at protecting myself as well so when you do take the calculated risk of going out to the stores and whatnot and even when people get risky and go to these friends and family gatherings um, you want to make sure you're doing the best you can to protect yourself too. So first of all, I keep my mask. This mask is an N95. I have several types, but this particular mask, I keep it in a brown paper bag. That's where I house this and then the other type of mask, which is, I don't know what you call them, but the blue ones. Okay, so before I do that, when I'm going out, I don't know what the story is about hair, but I believe that hair needs to be covered. Mine will be, especially when you have hair that loves itself and it coils up on itself. I always go out with my hair covered. Now this is not what I normally use, but this is what I had here. You can use a sarong. That's what I normally use. I use, those are multifunctional as head wraps. Um, you can wrap your hair if you want. Um, but uh, if you don't have time for that and you just want to throw something over your head right quick before you get out of the car, this is what I do. I'll put this on and then I will wear my mask. And this is how you wear it, put the masks on. Like so. And it does not matter that people are laughing. Good for them. Some laughter. Okay, so you have your mask on securely. You have your wrap on, and then I like to protect my eyes with some sort of something. I prefer something that is very, you don't see, you know, it's very close to the face, like a goggle. And then when I go in, I'll be honest, I then, <laughs> when I go into the store, I will wrap this across. Or if I'm in, you know, talking to someone, I will just tuck that in like that to kind of give myself some extra coverage. Is this something that will actually protect you? I don't know. But what I do know, it is an added layer of protection. The best thing that you can do is to stay away from people, period. Especially people who are not wearing their masks. So essentially, most of my face is covered, okay? Most of my face is covered. I will have these on and because I need to wear reading glasses as well I will I don't care how it looks I don't I really don't I, I could care less how it looks this is not the time to be cute I have seen some I have seen some things uh, and they are disturbing and you know it's just it is what it is this is what we are doing right now okay um, do not lay your mask anywhere. Just be very meticulous and conscientious about what you do with your mask. And I just put mine back in the box. You know, you do the best you can. But I put it back in the paper bag. Okay? So that's what I do there. Again, you can find things around the house. 
that is on a heavy day and that is some, what I was doing before now if you don't want to have glasses on top of goggles there are goggles that you can actually have wear over your glasses and those old school wraparounds that you see the senior citizens wearing get you some get you some okay the next thing that I do if I don't want to go through all of this because it can be a little extra right so what I do next <clears throat> another option is I will just wear a head wrap just a regular head wrap in this case this is an infinity scarf for the winter just so you know you can make these by cutting um, if you have like a long skirt something that's sort of stretchy and it's old you can cut the bottom of it and there you have yourself an infinity scarf and what I do is I also use them as head wraps I did a video tutorial on this a couple of years back and here's a quick one now so if your hair is in a bun like mine is all you're doing is twisting and going back and forth and boom you have your wrap and you're done that's it you are covered okay you are covered and if you want you can throw on your shades and then I have a handmade now if you have a handmade you want to be able to put a filter in there now I made this practicing and it turns out it works okay you can put one of those blue scar uh, blue masks inside and make sure you're washing your masks on a regular basis okay I just made this real quick in fact the, the things that I have for the ears is t-shirt I like to use t-shirt for a lot of stuff t-shirts are the bomb jersey knit so I have this some of these you can actually make three layers there are some DIYs in fact I'll link um, a video one of the videos that I watched to make this one and what else can I say about this I hand stitched it I did not break out a sewing machine I hand stitched it and that was it so you got that and because I have the other mask inside, I can pinch it around the nose. You do not want air and gaps around the side. And you want the mask under your chin, okay? None of this gappy gap, none of this hair. That's not wearing a mask. If your nose is exposed, you're not wearing a mask, okay? And if I can see the outline of your mouth, and the fabric is super thin you're not wearing a mask you do want to make sure that you can breathe but if you are wearing some thin cotton like jersey by itself you're not wearing a mask like those infinity scarves that people wear that is not wearing a mask it's really not enough okay I'm just telling you because and if you can look through it if you hold it up to the sunlight and you can see through it you're not wearing a mask okay <laughs> So this is cotton. You want to make sure whatever you have is breathable. It's cotton. Okay, you want to breathe. And it is secure on each side. And I can pinch the nose with the disposable mask that I have tucked in. If you are super anal like I can be sometimes, sometimes I will put a blue mask under this and then put this on top with another blue mask that's already in there on the inside okay and so sometimes on a light day I'll do this if I have to read there we are but again you can um, oh it's kinda dark in here the sun kinda shifted but then again you can still get those wraparounds and be perfectly fine now if you want to take it a step further this is another option. The visor. Now, I have been laughed at because of this, but this is what they wear at the hospitals to protect themselves from the spittle. It's also the kind that I have. It's also good for sun, especially right now in the summertime. It's like wearing a big shield you know sunglasses hands-free 
you just put it on it velcros so it velcros to the back and you can wear it like this and then when it's time like this but make sure your mask is over your nose securely and boom you are covered and it comes down past the chin boom okay now i got the idea now i knew they were wearing these at the hospitals but i didn't know that they were available like these were available in the, this is really supposed to be fashionable this particular one has um i'm not sure if you can see it but it has like flames around it like you know hot rod type flames <laughs> so um so i don't know if you can see that but it's supposed to be fashionable and I believe you can take this visor piece off. You could take it a step further and decorate this up here. I mean, make it cute if you want. But I, I originally thought about it because I was like, I saw Nicki Minaj wearing this like a few years ago. And it wasn't that, but it was like a, a red one. And that's where I got the idea. And then I saw a couple of other hip-hop ladies wearing them. And I'm like, oh, wait, let me look. I know they're outdated. But let me look them up and see if I can find one. Because that would be perfect. And that's what popped up. Turns out you can also get uh, visors that are similar to what they wear at the hospitals, too. So just, just a thought. Okay, and then I have another option if you don't want to do that or if you don't want to wear a scarf on top of your mask. Um, you can do this. Okay. Um, this should never be hanging. You should have both on because we want to make sure there are no gaps. Because sometimes, depending on how your face is shaped, this is gapping and moving around and I'm just a, I am very I'm a stickler when it comes to that you don't want that make sure it's not too tight make sure that you can breathe and then if you have a scarf or a bandana or something and you want that extra coverage boom I like to wear this over my scarves I mean over my masks and it is actually an infinity type wrap that goes behind the ears. You can use a regular scarf. I didn't want to be bothered with tying anything else on. I'm always carrying things and hauling stuff. And I just want it to be hands free. And my, fr my ears are my friends. So <laughs> that's what we are going with. So you can do that and then come through with your shades or your glasses and your wraparounds get into it or your visor over top do what's most comfortable for you i do i wear things based on what's going on how long i'm going to be out um how much exposure i feel like i'm going to have uh possible exposure and then I'll carry something extra. Like if I'm just going to have a mask, I might carry a, a scarf or this in case. Or my visor even. Just in case. Because the visor, in my mind, is the one thing that I feel is going to protect me, the wearer. So that's why I, I'm even bringing any of this up. Okay, so you don't have your hair up in a bun. This bun has been in my hair for, we're not even going to say <laughs> how long, but I'm going to take, I'm going to attempt to take this bun out for my last option. Don't even laugh. No, you can laugh. Okay. So I'm going to pull my hair back. Ooh, it's been a while since I've seen you. <laughs> 
I have to look in this mirror here. Okay, so I'm going to pull it back in a low puff or something. Something loose. You're just running out the house, right? You just want to run out the house. It's not that critical. However, you want your hair covered. That's why I'm like, am I ever going to wear my hair out again? Okay, so I have an infinity wrap. You guys have seen me. You guys have seen me talk about these multiple times so let me just show you another way you can wear it okay so this is the infinity wrap and the way that I do it now is to make it into sort of like a hat I turn it inside out hurry <laughs> inside out and I take some sort of, you know rubber band or whatever and I just wrap it at the top a couple times, whatnot. So you have that. And then I turn it back on its proper side. And so you have something that looks like this, and it is now a hat. And it is covering my bun which is not as low as I thought it was going to be but you get the gist put on your mask See, it's covered under the chin. Okay. And now you put this on. Okay, so now you have more protection. Now with this one, you can wear your, your glasses. Okay. Put the glasses on first, maybe, but and you can style and profile in your hat. So you have coverage all the way behind the ears. This is a size medium. They come in a large and I think small. I cannot see myself. Okay. But you see how far it comes down so and also this hat comes with a chin strap so you can actually tie it around your chin you don't have to worry about the wind blowing I'm sorry <laughs> you don't have to worry about the wind blowing and the plastic comes off. They, you can Velcro it on and off. I leave it on because otherwise I wouldn't be wearing the hat. But I think it's a cute little hat and they come in different, an array of designs, colors. But I'm like, I don't care how silly people think it is. I've had people stop and stare. I'll be your show. As my father would say, I'll be your show. And I'll also be safe as I am zipping in and out of these grocery stores. Now look, I know that a lot of people think that this whole thing is hyped up and it is fake. I, I don't know what could possibly be killing people in such large quantities all of a sudden. But we're going to, you know, people think it's fake. All I know is that something is up. Something is going on. And um, until people figure it out or think they know or find out what it is, I'm not going to risk it. I have a lot to live for. And um, it's just a mask. It's just covering. I'm not cutting my arm off and, and passing out pieces of skin. You know, I'm not cutting my hair. It is just a mask, you guys. <laughs> so I came on here 
uh, primarily to show you the options, uh, explain all that I've been doing and what I've been up to. So as you can see, I have the regular masks, you know, the N95s, which are not medical grade masks. Um, if it has a ventilator, like those little things on them, that is not going to hack it. That is not going to work. Um, if it is below your nose or above your chin, that is not going to work. If it's dirty and old, if it's balled up, that is not going to work. You need to clean your masks. And I believe, and I don't know if there's been any chit chat about it, but I believe that my hair needs to be covered, especially because it is Afro hair. I don't know about other hairs, but I'm thinking curly hair, anything that loves on itself may need to be protected so that's why i keep my hair covered and i know people are like what is this woman doing now it's okay keep them guessing keep them talking <laughs> and then i have this particular mask that i got on amazon because i wasn't sure which was better which wasn't but it does have um you know where you can pinch it around the nose and it is copper infused I don't know if you guys know this I wear a lot of copper and I've been wearing copper forever it's like one of my favorite actually my favorite uh, metal and I've been wearing copper because of its medicinal properties and because uh, it's really good it, it's a generator and I have a copper pipe here too because I'm gonna make myself a wand with some crystals a very very powerful wand I should say and um, copper I just recently found out this year I think that it is very I don't know if if antimicrobial or antibacterial is the word but I know that um, you know bacteria and germs do not live on copper this particular metal as long as it does on others so um, that's another reason why I opted for the mask infused with copper. But trust and believe it, it will still have reinforcement with fabric over top if I'm, you know, out in the stores. I don't care because even if everyone is wearing their masks in the store, you don't know like the ventilation system, the air conditioning, the circulation of the germs that can, pl you know, play a part in it. And it's not even about being afraid or in fear because that I am not. But what I am is very cautious, conscientious, and careful. And I thought that it would be a good idea to share this with people because it seems that there's a lot of um, doubt and confusion. And I, I'm not sure why that is, but um, I felt it's my job to share. And um, But back to what I was saying, being in the store, somebody's mask could slide down. Um, some people don't have their, and I know that some states have requirements for masks and others don't. So I, I'm like, I can't assume that everybody is following the same guidelines. So that's another reason why I wanted to share, because I've seen full on families, even with children without masks. And I'm like more concerned about the children. Not, I know that they can still get sick. But I know that they can carry those things back to their grandparents, you know, people who are uh, more vulnerable and, you know, maybe have uh, more underlying conditions that won't be able to beat this thing. So if that happens and you happen to be in a place and your mask is not really supposedly doesn't really protect you, although it's better, you know, something is better than nothing cover up a little bit more that's all i'm saying and cover up that hair y'all <laughs> okay all right all right i will talk to you guys in the next video i love you and until then live simply and be kind if you have questions as always leave them in the comments